Hi folks, welcome to the first ever installment of The Great Divide, a YouTube vlog about the divisions within the disunited states of America. I'm Tom Jackson. Who am I? Well, first of all, one of the greatest things about the melding of digital video and the internet is that social media came along and all these things combined have kind of democratized the ability to disseminate whatever thoughts you want on social media. So you don't really need to be somebody in the world of journalism, film, whatever, in order to put your thoughts out there. That said, I have been directing independent documentary videos for almost 20 years, and a couple of them have actually gotten in front of considerable numbers of people. Greetings from Missile Street look at the effects of economic sanctions on the civilian population of Iraq. Those sanctions had a devastating effect on Iraqis, and they were in place for 12 years. Greetings from Missile Street was a micro-budget guerrilla documentary video, but it was aired many times on Free Speech TV, got into 15 or so small film festivals, and was part of an interesting phenomena back in the uh, zero zeros, the early 2000s. Grassroots screenings and discussions of not only that film, but lots of topical documentaries. So I did about 200 screenings and Q&A uh, throughout America with that one over a period of a couple of years. Uh, and others used it in England, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. Uh, the other documentary of note is called Out of Balance, ExxonMobil's Impact on Climate Change. And that one aired on Link and also on Telesur, uh, screened at 40 plus film festivals worldwide and got a huge grassroots response. Now I'm working on a follow-up to that one. Uh, called Still Out of Balance. And since there has been more and more news about ExxonMobil and climate change since I started the follow-up in late 2015, this one has taken a little longer than the usual production time uh, I've experienced. Hoping to have that out there soon, but this series of short videos I'm starting called The Great Divide is likely to include some of those interviews or parts of some of those interviews this is more of a YouTuber vloggy video op-ed kind of thing because, you know, word gets around faster than ever about news and opinion these days. And having long been someone who advocates the use of our free speech rights, I figured this is as good a time as any to start this kind of vlog series. So I'm an indie doc producer. I'm a film fanatic in general. And for five and a half years or so, I've taught uh, a course or two in documentary film at a university in New England. I'm also a news junkie, a political junkie, a geopolitical junkie, a political economy junkie. You get the idea. Oh, and a climate change alarmist for 13 years now. Getting back to independent media production, back when I first got involved, there was this website called Indie Media. And their motto was, don't hate the media, be the media. And that really rang true for me. Digital video was a brand new thing, and the internet was relatively young, and so was the independent filmmaking movement. So I was already looking at these new technologies and concepts and uh, as an outlet for the frustration that I had with commercial media. The other thing that was going on at this time was that media companies were being bought up, and during the 1990s, it got to a point where six huge companies owned an overwhelming percentage of the media one of the first things to go out the door was investigative media, real investigative media, particularly the kind that would delve into a problem that, say, a large corporation was causing or was part of causing. So I saw on the one hand that there was this far-right media taking off with Fox News and Rush Limbaugh, and the rest of the mainstream media was, in my opinion, too light and getting worse when it came to substantive criticism of our government and big business. Unlike what we hear today from Trump and his supporters, I didn't see the major networks as too liberal or fake. I saw them as more and more gutless, corporatized, and subservient to their advertisers. So often, network news would present a skewed story, leaving out crucial parts of stories like the effects of economic sanctions on Iraq, or fostering a false balance and a false debate about climate change, which we now know the fossil fuel industry knew to be a reality with dire future consequences as early uh, or as far back as the 1970s. So I'm not a fan of any of the commercial mainstream media because the far right just demonizes every other media outlet that's not like them. 
and much of the other mainstream media just doesn't deliver. But now there is more opportunity to create and access independent media on a huge network called the internet. The constitutional right of free speech needs to be used or it's useless and more than likely to be trampled on by the powers that be. It helps to remember that those rights were not given to us by the government. They are inalienable rights of we the people who stated that the government has no right to take them away from us. Hopefully it's not too late. But there will even be an episode or two about the divisions between us related to the Constitution. We have some very heated disagreements over which amendments are really being attacked, which should be changed, and what, if anything, should be added. Stay tuned. I will have guests on in the future, which will include some past interviews as well as new. This isn't going to be exclusively gloom and doom uh, and politics, but there will be quite a bit of that because it's important. And in my opinion, there's never been a more crucial time for people of conscience to use those free speech rights while we still have them. We need truth tellers as much, if not more than ever. Please leave a like, subscribe, and by all means, leave a comment below. If you don't like uh, the show or something in the show, leave a thumbs down. But in that case, also, please leave a written comment, something with substance. It's a lot less passive aggressive to explain why you're giving the thumbs down. Thanks to all who listened. I'm Tom Jackson for The Great Divide. See you next time.